Regan Slaymaker for International Boxing News. Now, the pleasure of joining. We were just talking about this breadcrumbs, Nigel Travis. I mean, before we get into the, sto the story about that nickname, Jack Cattrall's just beaten Josh Taylor in your minds as well, and not off paper for the second time as well. Yeah, um, I believe so. I believe. I believe most of the the world believes so. Um, I, I didn't think for a fact that for not a chance did just to win that fight tonight. I heard about Bob Aaron's talk saying we were robbed. I just think it's ridiculous. Um, and I don't want to talk about robberies because because we'll talk when I go back to the, the first fight. Um, yes, Jack Carroll, Carroll was phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And in my opinion, for what it's worth, I think he beat a fantastic, fantastic Josh Taylor tonight. Josh Taylor wasn't finished, wasn't washed up, wasn't done. Um, he, he, had, he, had, he had the same ambition. He had the same. He seems to have a, you know the same engine. Kept going and going and going, and Jack Cattle was too good for him. Definitely, with a fight of Josh Josh Taylor's kind of obviously a former undisputed champion as well, shows how good. Obviously, you guys you guys have been talking about Jack Cattrall for ages, even before he had that Josh Taylor fight. Showed how good Jack Cattrall was tonight in there, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, and uh, and I suppose I, I, people I, people have been ask, asking questions about uh, what do you think about Taylor. I think he's a phenomenal fighter. I really do, and and I'm so happy tonight that I believe that's what that's the best version of Josh Taylor that I've seen since probably Regis Progre. Genuinely, I thought he was phenomenal. You know, what a ballsy, strong, fantastic engine. You know, and 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 I told him that. You know, I told him that after, but I, there was only one winner in that fight. I don't care what Mr. Aram says. There's only one winner in that fight. What, it, what the, the reason they've got maybe a plausibility of, of, of cars being being wide. I have no problems with it not being 170 and 111. But there's only one winner in that fight. Whatever score it is, whether it was a shutout out or by or, or by one round. Jack Carroll won that fight without a shadow of a doubt, and uh, and I'm immensely proud and elated that he can now, you know, get married in ten days um, to his gorgeous Mrs. Lauren, and um, and it's going to be a great occasion because he deserves it, they deserve it, you know, and and, and I want him to, to to he's earned the right to be taught about in the biggest fights in the world and I hope that those fights can be made because he's a he's a diamond of a kid and and, it, and just because he's a nice kid doesn't mean that he deserves it the kid's a phenomenal fighter and, and I think you saw that tonight and, and that's why he won the fight for me definitely definitely as well before going to what's next as well congratulations to the future Mr and Mrs Cattrall as well um, is it must it be a world title shot next for you guys I think definitely, and I think he's in a perfect place for that to happen. Eddie Earn, you know, corner of the market, but his stable is phenomenal. And and, and I've just heard the press conference, you know, like Super Matisse and you know Paro and what what all all the stuff that's going on. I, and Jack Carroll needs to be talked about in those names. Um, the, you know, the best in the, who's the best in the division? Lopez, you know, so, you know, Tia Fimo, you need him on. Jack Carroll takes them all, takes them all on. And does he win? I believe definitely, and genuinely. I, I think I think he's made for him. And will he fight him? I don't know. I think he's in the best place now for, for Eddie to, to do his business. Definitely as well. Trip to uh, Jamie, bringing Jamie Moore in here as well. One more question, because we're going on the piss, because we're going to go and celebrate, yeah? La last one then, we'll go, we'll, go into, we'll go into the nickname that I introduced you, Breadcrumbs as well. Talk to me, talk to me about that. Breadcrumbs! All right, it's the now, funny, now, it's now, the now funny thing. Luckily, he's here, so, so in fairness, I'm going to let him, because he puts cream, here she is, here's our girl. What's what? a, what a woman? Okay, so, breadcrumbs. It's just a word, you know, because the birds are all over me. <laughs> Obviously, I mean, but fucking. So it was just a laugh. 
where you know we were being followed by the guys from the zone and the top kids, and, we, and, we had, and I'm just showing off. And um, when it was, I shown, watched it. I watched the premiere of it with him and his missus, and the reaction from Sousa was absolutely brilliant. She was like, "Are you fucking joking me?" Like, imagine if I went on TV going, yeah, they call me breadcrumbs because the blokes are all over me. You'd go fucking mad. And he was like, oh, they're awkward. And I, you know when you just want, don't want to be there? <laughs> you, but, big shit I, I know. you big shit house. You big shit house. Right, but, come on, let's go and drink. But, yeah, my missus is the bomb. My missus is, is the donkey's conger. Uh, and I, I'm... 25 years married on Wednesday, so I, I'm not been at home because I've been in in Leeds, <laughs> Jack Carroll. So now, party! Bye, Nigel Travis. Congratulations as well. Thank God you very much. You. Cheers, mate. God Thank you very much. No worries, you. mate.